In this video, we will remove an African honeybee colony from the meter box where power is supplied to the house and share with you why our bees seek out these locations for their nests. Put your pants up. Hey, got a plumber's crack. We're back in another removal from a power box. The homeowner called us to this location because they had seen the bees inside the box that supplies power to their home. Ethan and I are working together tonight to safely remove and relocate these bees. You know what you forgot? What? The bee vac. You don't have the bee vac. Oh shit. I thought there was something. That's why I went through the list. It's fine. Let's open and see if it's a small enough one. Yeah, we can just can we just it do it manual we'll put it straight in the half okay. if if not then you'll have to drive back and go and fetch you will have to hand. go old school with the hands but it, yeah. i'll only do that if it's small if it's a big one eh? you don't know how long they've been here uh i think seriously they've been here for three months ah, yeah okay. yeah yes do you want to do it by hand yeah we can yeah uh, it's not big Yeah, it's quite small actually. Yeah. Bees in this location can cause major problems. Bees wax is highly flammable and a large hive inside a power box could create a fire risk if it comes into contact with the electrical components. The expanding hive and the bees themselves could cause power interruptions by putting pressure on the wires and transformers which will cause disruptions or even short circuits. Recently we've had a few removals from the same sort of locations and it got me thinking why do bees choose this kind of cavity? Something that we do know is our wild African honeybees tend to swarm more frequently and can be up to 10 times a year which is much more than any other honeybee species. American honeybees typically swarm one to three times a year. As a beekeeper in South Africa, it is important for you to be aware of the swarming signs and to learn swarm control methods within your hives. So why have we seen bees recently making their nests in these power meter housings? At first, I thought maybe there was some sort of attraction to the electricity, but my research showed that there is no direct link between bees and electricity that would draw them in. I did find some really interesting research on electrical fields of bees and flowers and how that forms part of their foraging. We'll save that for a future video. There were two main reasons bees would choose this cavity as their new home. The first is shelter. Power boxes offer a cavity that provides protection from the elements and predators and it has a nice ceiling to the box that is perfect to build the comb and generally has sufficient space to build this long and wide. The second is warm. Power boxes can generate a slight amount of heat which might be attractive to bees seeking a warm location for their hives. Temperature regulation is important for the survival of the hive. Bee nursery, are often referred to as brood, needs a temperature between 33 and 36 degrees and the bees want to create their own natural incubator to achieve this. So a location that allows for the sun to help but does not get too hot and has airflow to reduce moisture in the hive is the most ideal spot. These power boxes we have been removing bees from seem to tick all the boxes that our African honeybees are looking for. And as we know, once you have had bees in an ideal location, the chances another colony will find it after we have removed them is pretty high. So I recommend you take a look at this video to find out more on how you could prevent this from happening. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep safe and take care of your bees.